So welcome to this tutorial. I think this will be tutorial 10, either 9 or 10, on our REST API or building REST API using Spring Boot. Remember, this is a beginner to expert uh, tutorial. So I'm going to take it very easy, very slowly. So I want you to follow along in your computer because I'm not skipping any step. Everything you need to know is here. In case you miss out anything, this is actually a procedural based tutorial. So I have the procedure side by side all the code snippets, everything you need to do is in this place. So this is my website. Uh, this is a website. I place all this procedure, kindsandthegenius.com slash springboot, and you quickly see all the steps and all the piece of codes you need for this application. So what we are now going to do, we are going to first write and test a get method, right? So we want to write a get method, a method that re retrieves some items uh, from the controller. So it means that a user goes to a URL and enters a request, uh, makes a request in a URL. Our controller should receive this request and send back a response. So let's write a get method that returns a string. Welcome to Spring Boot. So we are going to I would like to maybe add a, a different controller. Mm -hmm. So let's just use a different controller. I'm, I'm going to call this controller welcome controller. Just, uh, uh, just a, 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 a another controller. After I can delete it. Welcome. Okay. So I've added a, a controller because we are, we are trying to do the first one. Okay, so, so we write the a get method. This method will just return welcome to Spring Boot when someone assigns slash welcome. So if a user goes to the browser and assesses slash welcome, he gets uh, this, uh, he gets the, 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 the request comes to this place. So I'm going to add at rest controller annotation here. Right. Okay. So. So now you can see that this welcome controller is inside the default package, but it doesn't matter because after now I'm going to actually delete it because I just want to use it to test uh, the REST controller. So what I want to do now is if a user goes and types welcome. Uh, is going to come into a, a function. I'm going to write a function that is going to execute that function. I'm going to call it uh, welcome. So yes, let's just say public static string welcome. So this is the function that is going to execute when a user goes to the browser. Public static string welcome. Okay, add a return statement. So let's just say return. Welcome to Spring Boot. Okay, so now how do we tell Spring Boot that we want the this code to run when a user enters goes to the URL slash welcome? How to do that is to use an annotation called at request mapping. So this notation called at request mapping, you use it to tell Spring Boot that when a user goes to this URL, uh, a particular URL that meets up certain pattern is going to come here. So see how you do it at request mapping. So at request mapping, and then you say value equals and now you want to specify the URL pattern that if entered in the browser or signed in a request is going to come to execute this place and return uh, this return value as a response to that request. So I'm going to say slash welcome. So if a user goes to localhost 8080 slash welcome, then it means that it's going to Will receive this item. It's going to receive this response. Welcome to Spring Boot. So this request mapping is an annotation. So 
I'm going to import it from the of the Spring Framework that bind uh, that's why we bind that annotation. All right, so we've written a complete controller now. Uh, this is just a welcome controller. It's not part of the our application that we are building. So we are just I'm just writing it to test it out. All right. So I'm going to save everything. Uh, I've saved everything, and I'm going to run it. So I'll go. I'm going to right click and just say run as, and I'm going to run as Spring Boot app. So now wait for it to kick off. So it tends not to be displaying the output. Okay, yeah. So I can see the output. So. If you look at this output, you can see that it actually started a web server on its running. So you can see Tomcat uh, started on port 8080. Okay, fine. So we are going to go to port 8080 and try to assess this welcome slash welcome URL and let's see if it's going to return uh, this value. So I'm going to say localhost at port 8080. And I'm going to say slash welcome. Okay. So you can see welcome to Spring Boot. So just to make sure that nothing is actually going wrong, I'm going to change something here and let's let's run it again and make sure. So I'm going to put the name of my uh, my channel. So you can change up things and, and run it so that you get your hands, you get used to the whole thing. So there is a button here that says uh, relaunch, relaunch. So just click on it to relaunch, and it, you can see it's relaunching the whole thing all over again. So if I go back to the website at this time, I'm going to just increase it. So if I refresh it, okay, it's still coming up. Okay. So, fine. so if I refresh it now. Okay, maybe I actually needed to. I actually needed to stop this completely. Okay, and then run it again. Run Spring Boot up. All right. So at this point, uh, if everything goes fine, it should work. this okay I think I'm running out of time but I think everything is fine so so let's go back to run it at this point so if I refresh okay, let's, just, let's go here so, welcome. so it tends to be frozen in this one at port 8080 and say welcome So I think this is cached or something. So I'm going to take it out from here and run it somewhere else in another browser. So because you need, it's good to have debugging skills. This is better to solve the problem as it comes. I'm going to use Edge. Okay. So I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to run it. Okay. It also says welcome to welcome to Spring Boot. Yeah. Welcome to Spring Boot. Okay, I'll, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to stop here this time, and in the next tutorial, I will continue. But for now, everything is okay. So this is a, is a simple uh, caching problem on the client side. Um, I'm going to thank you for viewing, and we'll see you in the next lesson.